tattoos and I'll show you how to make tremola prawns. Let's get straight into it. Alright guys, so we'll make our marinade first in a bowl. So we're going to start off with a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of sweet paprika, one teaspoon of ground turmeric, one teaspoon of ground cumin, a tablespoon of chopped fine parsley, and another tablespoon of coriander, also chopped finely. And we're going to add in a tablespoon of lemon juice, about three to four tablespoons of olive oil, and we're just going to mix this together and get a well combined. Okay, perfect. So guys, I'm going to add 500 grams of raw prawns to this. So with our prawns, what I'm going to do is butterfly them. So using a sharp small knife, just run it down like that, not all the way, just so you get that butterfly effect. That way when you cook it, it'll expand and it'll look very nice and presentable. So you don't have to do that, but it does look nicer. So just add them in as you go. Alright, and then all we're going to do is mix these through and get them all well combined with our marinade. Okay, just like so. Alright, next we'll just cover this with some cling wrap, place it into the fridge for about two hours, and then we can cook it. Alright guys, so moving on, just into a large pan on a medium to high heat, we'll add about three tablespoons of oil. And we want to get that pan nice and hot before we add anything. Never add prawns to a cold pan. So once your oil is nice and hot, we'll go ahead and add in all our prawns straight away. Now be careful because you will get a flare up like that. And I don't want to be responsible for anyone setting their house on fire. So guys, all we're doing is cooking this at a high temperature until our prawns are cooked. Once they start to go white, that's when they're cooked. Okay guys, as you can see they've started to go white, that means they're cooked. So we'll go ahead and turn the heat off. There'll still be enough heat in the pan to finish cooking them off. Crawls can go rubbery straight away, so you've got to be very careful. And that looks perfect. So let's go ahead and serve. And just look at that. Now all that sauce at the bottom of our pan, that's all flavor. Don't go wasting it. And we'll just add in some lemon wedges as a garnish. And we'll finish it off with a sprinkling of parsley. And there we have it. So perfect appetizer, but you can of course even make a salad of it if you like. Now once it cools down, you can also serve it cold if you prefer. I hope you like that guys, please like, share and subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Snapchat and Instagram. If you've got any comments or suggestions, just leave them at the bottom and I'll see you all next time.